Are you actually working from home? Are you? It looks like I'm working from home. It looks like you're working from home, but are you actually working from home? Yeah, I am. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today is amazing. Sam is working from home, and that means that I got a chance to dye my hair. I've been like trying to do it for weeks, but there's been no time. Anyway, you're not gonna believe what happened this morning. It was crazy. I was so frustrated. I was so mad. I was so mad, you guys. I can't even believe it. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. Guess what happened today, Gabby? What? So I ordered Jacob. No, I ordered baby Jack a birthday present. He's turning two next week. I ordered a big, huge present. Like, it's in a big box. Oh, did you get the alert thing? Yeah, did you get the alert? What alert? Stay inside. The yeah, alert. yeah. We got an alert today on our phone, all of us. You are in a stay-at-home thing. You are not allowed to go anywhere. I said that packages will not come. Or no, packages will come. So anyways, back to what I was saying. So I ordered a package. It's scheduled to come on Monday. So I'm sitting on my bed waiting for my hair to pick up the dye and I look out the window and I see the mailman and I'm like, oh, I know that that's my package. I knew that it was my package because they give you like a later date. It has to come by Monday, but I knew it was supposed to come today. So I look out the window. I see the truck driving to our house. I'm like, oh, that is my package for, J for Jack. So then I watch and he doesn't pull into the driveway. He just pulls right up to the mailbox, sticks something in and drives off. My pop it! So then I'm like, oh, that's obviously not my package because my package is huge. So then three seconds goes by and I get an alert on my phone. <gasps> Our driver tried to deliver your package but you were not home so they left a notification in your mailbox saying that you have to pick it up at the post office. And I was like, oh, that is not true at all. That is not true. Like I was so upset by that. Can you believe they pull these shenanigans? You have yeah. a lot of friends here, Gabby. I'm very I'm popular. Popular. You are very popular. I'm gonna go check the mailbox. All right, Sophie's gonna go check the mailbox. Uh huh. Are you working now? No. <laughs> Come, I think you're not. Um, He's so excited to see you. Okay, so did you hear what I just told them? Yeah, that's crazy. I uh, know. I know they do that stuff. Like My people. My could still be in the mailbox because Poppet's fit now. Yeah, go check. Maybe it's for me. It's for me. It's, I got an alert saying that they tried to deliver my package, but that it couldn't be delivered because no one was home. But you ordered we it off Amazon. Home. I ordered it off Amazon. Then that's not Amazon. Well, it, they, I got an alert saying they tried to deliver it from Amazon. They used Canada Post. Anyway, good morning. Uh, welcome to today. Today we're making a different kind of video, not like a regular daily vlog. Today we're doing a training session with our mayors. I'm really excited to bring you guys along. But before we do that, I wanted to explain a couple of things. So, um, number one, some people are still confused why we would let Chino run and play and move when the vet said only hand walk him. So that, that there's some confusion there. The vet never, ever, ever, ever told us only hand walk him. He told us to let him go and to hand walk him. Those are the only instructions that we were given. The reason is because horses that are just let go don't always go out walking. Sometimes they just stand still and so our vet wanted to ensure that he is walking. So he is to be hand walked as well as let go. Never ever only hand walking. So also, we kept our horse in three days longer than the vet wanted him in. Laura got a sticker. I got it, yeah, it's for me. The reason that we kept him in three days longer is because we wanted to heal the leg and do that part with the vet. And plus we didn't want to send him out until the farrier was able to come and address the foot sore issue. He had two separate issues, two different reasons. We kept him in two days longer than our vet wanted to, to deal with the second issue. Hopefully everybody can understand. I know it's really confusing. Sometimes things get cut out of our video. If I just spent five hours explaining every single detail, it would take away from a lot of the other things I want to show in our video. Also, I have a little tiny message to send to you guys. I was talking to a friend today and she reminded me that there are always going to be people that don't understand you, don't understand where you're coming from, find it hard to relate to you. It's always going to happen. But when that does happen, to remember who you are inside and when you do that it enables you to love the person that doesn't understand you and that really makes things so much easier for me when people say terrible things or leave mean comments or make mean videos 
I just have to remind myself who I am, what my intentions are, and where I'm coming from. I know that in my heart I'm good and my intentions are good. And then it reminds me of how good I am. And it takes me feeling, it takes me from feeling bad to feeling good about myself again. And then I'm able to not look harshly on the person that said or did the mean thing towards me. And hopefully it's a little trick that you guys can use too. All right, let's get on with the video. Well, hello, pretty princess. Have you, have we got a game for you? We're gonna play with you. Look at those eyes again. Look at those gorgeous eyes. You are beautiful. Yes, you are. Look at, she's got energy today. So, somebody was asking about why we think Penny's been abused. We think Penny's been abused because of a lot of the ways that she acted when we first got her. And also her past owner told me the exact same thing. Her past owner told me Penny has definitely been abused. She's an experienced uh, horsewoman. So I definitely feel that she has been abused in the past, but she's coming around really well in those eyes. I never ever thought we were gonna get her eyes clear, like ever. All right, Gabby wants us to take a moment to appreciate how cute her cat is, because you know, the cat is just so darn cute. Yes, I named her Lexi after Lexi Gray from Grey's Anatomy. Gabby's really invested in Grey's Anatomy, if you guys don't know. Yeah. She only likes the people that she knew as like a baby, baby kitten. She's gonna get bigger though, right? Yeah, she, our kit, cats She's are small. She's still a kitten. So. Our cats are small, your she's dog is small, baby. like everybody that we got is small. I know, but she's still a baby. Daisy's still growing. Not Chino. Chino's kind of short for my liking, but. Yeah, not Chino. Because I want a 17 2 hand horse. And that's craziness. Oh. I need to go watch all the videos again, see what I'm doing wrong, and see what I could do instead. She's following me now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, you guys. She just wants to stay far from me. Yes. Yes. So I just needed to do it a little bit differently for her. Walk far from her. She doesn't like to be touched that much. So the point of join up is for her to walk right beside me, but it might take a few minutes for her to get there. And, uh, and it might be because I'm not turning my body off. So you're meant to turn your body off when you invite them to come up to you. I just... Well, hi. I love you too. Come on, let's walk. She said no. Did you see that? Come on. Come on. Yes. So when I turn my body off and I walk away, she still is coming to me. Yes, I just don't know if that she's not right, quite ready to follow me yet. Like, we still are building a bond. And I think even more than that is that she has trust issues to begin with, so she's fighting against something inside of herself, but I think it'll happen fast if I just keep practicing with her. I do not know what Sam's over there trying to accomplish. Now put your hand out and see if she comes to you. Stretching. You're stretching? Penny. Like this. Penny. 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 She wants to be with me now. She just doesn't. Yes. Yes. I was kind of nervous about making this video because I know that we're not going to do everything exactly right and we're going to make a ton of mistakes and I am, especially me. Um, but, try and turn around now and see if she'll follow me. But, I wanted to still make it to document our progress because soon I think I'm going to be able to get Penny to go forward. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Let's see if I can go forward again. Come on. Forward. So I'm almost wondering if, I'm almost wondering if me talking to her the way I talk to her is putting pressure on her. It's too much pressure. Because when I start talking to you guys and change my tone and, and stop focusing on her so much, she uh, pays attention to me and is more interested and more willing to follow me. But anyway, that was really fun for us. Mom, fist bump, dude. Burr. 
Okay, so the girls are going back up to the house. She doesn't really love their energy. And I, Sam and I are gonna do a quick little mini Who Does Your Horse Love? All right, so we got Sam there, me over here, and Penny Pickle way down there looking at stuff. Penny, come on, Penny. And we got our treats. Come on, Penny. My heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking. Penny, come on, Penny. Come on. Come on, Penny. Come to Mama. Come on, come to Mama. Mama's girl, yes. That was a close one. I thought you were gonna pick me. Apparently, I have the treat anyways. Decided to make our our course an extra video because it's just gonna be such a long thing, and then I'm gonna just do like a regular vlog for today because just to make it less confusing. So we're done with the course. You guys have already all thought, seen it probably. And you maybe just saw that Penny Pickle chose me over Sam. And I was worried there. I was worried there for a minute. Did you guys see I changed my voice? The reason I changed my voice was because I thought she was choosing him because she does seem to like calm better. It was really fun. We made a lot of mistakes, you guys. Like it's hard for us to know exactly what to do when certain things happen. Like we can try and I wanted to just give you a little scratch because I saw that you were itchy. Right here. Yeah. Oh. I can go right underneath your blanket. Yes. It was, oh, see, right up there? That's where she was itchy. See the spot? There. How's that feel? Eh? I got my arm right up in her blanket. Yes. Oh, look at her. If you guys saw, she's loving it. Oh. Yes. How do you think? What do you think of that? So she does not love her neck being rubbed that much. You need to get used to that, Penny, because that's what I'm good at. I'm good at neck rubs. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that was the most fun. It was fun because I got to work with her. It was fun because I got to learn more about her. I got to learn that she's such a curious horse. You're a curious girl. And our ponies were not curious at all. Yeah, I got to learn that you're curious. Now I want to find your favorite spot. If you guys notice the door is open and they just got fed their lunch and she has the opportunity to go out there and leave me if she wants. But she's not leaving me. I love you, Penny Pickle. You want to go for a ride soon? It's the weekend, so I'm going to ride you. Okay, almost. Maybe, yeah, on Saturday I'll ride you. Yeah, oh, what a sweet baby. What a sweet girl. You want to go? Come on. Come on. Come on. I, I squatted down. I feel like my biggest problem with Penny, and I think this is a problem that Gabby has with Storm, I think my biggest problem is that she thinks that I'm too assertive. And some horses are like that, like I'm like that too. If somebody approaches me and they're super assertive, like you need to do this and that's it and you need to do it now, I'm like, mm, back off. But if I, if I turn my body off and I'd be like more easy going and don't be as like assertive with my body language, I feel like she much prefers that. You come and see princess? One day I hope to get her to lay down with me. That is the goal of this course. Yeah, good girl. See, she still gets a little bit of like uh, runny eyes, but she doesn't have that white goop that she was having. Her eyes still run. I think it might be like from the wind and stuff. Good girl, yeah. Good girl. She's coming back to me, you guys. Aww. You're such a good girl. Yes, you are. Such a good girl. So when you're done playing with your horse, you're supposed to disengage from the whole experience, which basically means being the first one to say we're through and walking away. And so it's to like 
do the fish fist bump with her and then turn my body off so she doesn't uh so that I'm like relaxed and then I walk away because then it makes it seem like I'm just finished playing and I, I'm done. Not that I'm angry or not like any, that I'm trying to be aggressive or. But I actually don't want to be done. Like she doesn't want to be done and I don't want to be done. Right, Penny Pickle? Right? Yeah. That's a girl. All right, so these are our bells on the door and they're not very loud she knows that they mean go outside though tell them what's been happening Sophie um I was not paying attention to Daisy and she was jumping on the door I could hear her to go outside but I was like well she probably just wants to go outside to hang out and stuff like she always does and then she rung the bells so I took her outside because she she so that she knows that that means to go outside. What Sophie's trying to say is that Daisy's actually getting it. Like she, both of our puppies, right around the five month mark, they really started to pick up and learn stuff. There, it must be developmental, just like other, just like babies. You can teach them to do things at two months, but at two years, like you can teach them to do stuff earlier, but a lot of them learn at an older age, if that makes sense. So anyways, it, both of our dogs at right around five months really started to pick up on stuff really started to understand and Daisy's really starting to ask to go out instead of us just letting her out all the time. Doing really, really well. And she's starting to learn like, come, and she's yeah, starting to learn. Yeah, in the house the past two days. Yeah, like she, and it might be three days. Yeah, like she's doing really well. She's starting to learn a lot of stuff. Like we, we do train her all the time. Sophie trains her all the time, but not all dogs are ready to learn the same thing at the same exact age. Like lots of five month old puppies don't know come yet. And lots of five month, not, they don't know come religiously. Like Daisy's the kind of dog she's known come for a long time, but if she's busy, she's running and she's excited and she's doing something she loves. Then she doesn't even listen to us when we call her to come back. So she's starting to learn now that even when she's busy, she still has to obey us. So it's coming along, you guys. So I'm making tacos for supper. It's Taco Thursday. Is it Thursday? Taco Thursday. And Gabby is here with me, and we were just talking about how funny her dog is. So for a border collie, uh, Molly is not very stealth. Every night, Molly sleeps with Gabby. She sleeps on a pillow. She's got her own little pillow. She sleeps there. And then when it's time for her to go to bed in her crate, Sam will call her down. And Sam just does like a little whistle. And then all of us will be like half asleep. I'll be half asleep or everybody will be asleep. All of a sudden you just hear clunk, 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 clunk. And literally she responds to that whistle so fast. She responds to that whistle so fast. She jumps out of bed and she just like goes crazy down the stairs. And it's like, and I always laugh my head. I always wake up. I always laugh because she is not very stealth. She is not a stealth girl. She also runs into the wall. Yeah, she runs into the wall. She's like, I'm, I'm leaving. What else is she not very? Yeah, she's small. She's small. She's a small one. You guys remember when we first bought her and we kept trying to figure out which one she was in, in pictures? Molly. And she was the smallest one. So she's not like a runt. And she looks big on camera, but she's actually really tiny. She's a small one. She is the runt. Yeah, she's a runt. Like, she's probably not going to get any bigger than that. She's never going to be as big as Sit. Ruby. Sit. Good girl. High five. High five. High five. She got high ten. As soon as you change your tone and you, like, talk nice, you are, you get bombarded by dogs in our house. But she learned not to put her face in our face anymore. I told you guys not that long ago that the last thing that we needed to teach Molly was to not try and lick our face. It was the longest thing that she did that was awful. Uh, we'd bend down to say hi to her and she would like jump right in our face. Never, it's been months now and she doesn't ever do it anymore. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the way